Hello. I was born in a small town in the middle of the Balkan mountain. Um, it's called Trojan. And um, as a kid, I loved hiking and going around the mountain, staring at the beautiful landscapes, enjoying the beautiful sounds of the forest. And I was dreaming every time I've seen, I've seen this beauty, how I can one day combine it into my art and into my future. Um, when I was away from the mountain, I used to spend time with my grandmother in the village, uh, which is nearby the seaside. Um, in these beautiful gardens of hers, I was playing and actually uh, the most of the time I was listening to her singing Bulgarian traditional songs and I was always asking questions, where the lyrics come from, what is the message of this, uh, of this music and these old traditions. Um, what is the purpose of, of the past? Is it something gone for good? Or is it a lesson we missed to learn from? How we can move forward without knowing where we come from? Um, how we confidently change the traditions if we don't know anything about them? As a Bulgarian, I feel strongly connected to my land, and I believe the only way to stay here is to never give up on my values. Um, Bulgaria has a long, such a long history, and um, what kept us together is believing in our faith and strong spirit. Um, and the same way planting a seed can bring the whole tree to life and then bring more seeds. And uh, this is how we can keep with traditions and make them valuable for our next generation. Um, through the years, music was the media that was carrying most information about the old traditions for me. So when I listened to contemporary music, I felt intrigued um, when there was some sort of electronic and ethnic music elements mixed together. Listening to jazz and rock musicians using folklore elements was really an inspirational uh, part of my music story. And when I started make, making electronic music back in the days, I was trying to sound like the bands I loved. Um, all the bands from the States and uh, Western Europe. But uh, that was really great for learning how to, how to make good music, how to, to get up there to the certain musical scene, um, but it wouldn't help me to show where I come from. The only way to translate some elements from the traditional Bulgarian music into contemporary music and uh, to stand out of the crowd, this was the only way I could actually do something special about my music. I want to create music that stayed close to my heart and my roots, but at the same time to be close to the younger generation and the people that live with the new sounds. Um, that's when I met the amazing Bulgarian Kaval flute player, uh, Kaval flute player Teodosis Pasov, who is world famous for his ability to mix Bulgarian folklore with jazz, rock and classical music. Um, it was like a dream come true to work with him and to accomplish my goal of creating contemporary Bulgarian music with folklore elements. And the reaction of the listeners was in incredible. Um, Bulgarian people was giving me feedback that it was great to hear finally traditional instruments with modern sounds and to understand this music better. Um, also, I got some great feedback from abroad. A year later, I was on tour in Australia in 2009 and I had a show in Sydney where I played uh, some of my Bulgarian traditional uh, songs mixed with uh, drum and bass and dubstep. The reaction was really shocking for me, as few people came to the DJ booth and asked me, where are those sounds coming from? What is, the kind, what is that kind of singing? What is this instrument you used? All I had to say, this is so Bulgarian traditional instruments and, and singers, so you should check Bulgaria out. It's really nice, cool place. <laughs> um, that overall expression from listeners all around the globe led me to the conclusion that this is the right direction to go further and there is much more to be explored. How the past can be translated so it has better impact on the next generations? How can you do it through combining different styles of music? Music is the only strongest force known to humans which can be used to scope the imagination of any listener. When music gets you, you get it. 
no matter of the lyrics, the style or the era. Music is the universal language you all understand without necessarily being able to do it. It's part of our DNA since we were pre-born and we pass it through our genes to our next generations. Uh, this became clear to me when I was on tour in Portugal and we were driving to there from Spain. Um, in the car, my friends asked me if I could play some um, music from my latest album. And it was the album which I did with Teodosis Pasov and it was mixing Bulgarian traditional caval flute with electronic sounds. And when I played it, something really amazing happened. I just looked around and the landscape, the Spanish, almost desert looking like landscape, started appearing like a familiar place from Bulgaria. And um, this was something that my friends also noticed that everything around changed and the music managed to translate the surrounding into Bulgarian landscape. And yeah, th that was a, a moment I really uh, put in my mind and decided, okay, let's keep on going. <laughs> After being around the world with my music for so long, I went back to the mountains and looked down at my hometown to realize how far I went from being a kid with a dream to an adult with a dream that came true. Arriving in the same place made me think about the long journey of learning who I am and what is my purpose in this world. But translating my past is one of the strongest forces within me that keeps me inspired and motivated to continue. The translation, the translation happens deep in our hearts. If we use our brains, we won't be able to understand the meaning of this present moment. So you have to think deep within and use your intuition to understand what our predecessors are saying through the voice of the new generation. And I will share with you my summers with my grandmother visiting our village where I would get lost playing in the beautiful gardens and listening to her voice singing traditional songs to me. Um, she would teach me, she would teach me how to sing with her, learning the Asian lyrics of the songs uh, that were having this old tradition carrying with them. And that's the song that she knew for her grandmother. And here is this translation translated to, to you. Chichu vite konye na pai va pasa, tu ti man, tu ti man, tu ti libe na pidanya, ya gagana, tu pai libe boso. Chichu vite konye na pai va pasa, tu ti man, tu ti man, tu ti libe na pidanya, ya gagana, tu pai libe boso. Pai van passa da dalle cuvenda, tu ti man, tu ti man, tu ti libe na fida, ya ya gagana, tu pai libe boso. Na pai van passa da dalle cuvenda, tu ti man, tu ti man, tu ti libe na fida, ya ya gagana, tu pai libe boso. I'm 
Zupaili 